Welcome back on an epic journey, as we unravel the remarkable tale of Lu Sheng, a beacon of hope born in poverty, wielding the divine gift of strength to defy destiny and safeguard humanity from its impending reckoning. In the previous chapter, Lu Sheng experienced a breakthrough after absorbing the memories of a fifth-level martial arts zombie. Following nearly a week of dedicated practice, he sensed a significant increase in his qi and blood levels, indicating his growing power. Though uncertain if he had reached the standards of a second-level martial artist, his combat abilities were undoubtedly formidable. Reflecting on the secret techniques he had learned, Lu Sheng devised a new method of exerting force called Stellar Force. This technique enabled him to unleash bursts of power far beyond his normal limits, greatly enhancing his combat effectiveness. Excited by the potential of his discovery, Lu Sheng realized that Stellar Force could revolutionize martial arts worldwide. With determination, he decided to test his qi, blood value, and combat strength before taking the assessment exam, eager to explore the full extent of his newfound abilities. Alright folks, let's set our sights high today, our goal is 600 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Lu Sheng stepped out of the taxi, grateful to be free from the relentless chatter of the middle-aged driver. Throughout the journey, the driver had prattled on about everything from the college entrance examination to employment, leaving Lu Sheng feeling exasperated. Despite his annoyance, Lu Sheng had feigned interest, nodding and responding intermittently to avoid appearing rude. Reflecting on the conversation, Lu Sheng regretted not being more forthcoming about his true purpose. He wished he had told the driver that he was heading to the Martial Art Association for the Second Level Martial Artist Certification Assessment. Perhaps then, the driver would have dismissed him as eccentric and refrained from engaging in lengthy discussions. As he paid the fare and exited the taxi, Lu Sheng breathed a sigh of relief, thankful to finally be free from the taxi driver's incessant prattle. The driver bid him farewell warmly, unaware of the internal turmoil he had caused Lu Sheng during the journey. Lu Sheng entered the Baihe City Martial Artists Association with a sense of purpose. The grand building bore the association's name proudly on a signboard by the entrance, hinting at the esteemed nature of the institution. Upon entering the lobby, Lu Sheng observed that it was relatively quiet, with few people present. It was evident that access to the association was a privilege. Following the posted notices on the wall, Lu Sheng made his way to the desk designated for martial artist assessment and identification. The staff there scrutinized his ID card before confirming his intention to participate in the first-level martial artist certification assessment. Though Lu Sheng's abilities could qualify him for a higher level, he found no desk dedicated to handling second-level assessments. Nevertheless, he remained composed as he proceeded with the first-level assessment process. After filling out the required form and paying the assessment fee, Lu Sheng received patient and thorough guidance from the staff. Despite his youth, Lu Sheng's determination and confidence in his abilities did not go unnoticed. Following the staff's instructions, Lu Sheng arrived at the entrance to the examination room. Lu Sheng couldn't help but feel a pang of sympathy as he witnessed the distraught young man stumbling out of the examination hall. Tears streamed down the thin and tall student's cheeks, his pale face betraying his inner turmoil. Amidst his evident distress, the student muttered to himself, expressing disbelief at the disparity between his home tests and the results obtained at the examination center. He lamented his perceived failure, questioning his abilities and feeling utterly demotivated. Observing the student's despondent state, the examiner offered words of consolation and encouragement. He reassured the student that the instruments used by the Martial Arts Association were meticulously calibrated for accuracy, far superior to those available commercially. As Lu Sheng stood in line among the throng of students waiting to take their assessment exams, he couldn't help but notice the stark contrast between himself and the others. The majority of the students came from affluent backgrounds, evident from their well-nourished appearances and the confidence with which they carried themselves. In contrast, Lu Sheng, hailing from a modest family, felt like an outsider amidst the sea of privilege. His attention was drawn to three individuals in particular among the crowd. One had a visage resembling that of a centipede, exuding an aura of strength and intensity. Another was a fierce-looking man whose presence commanded attention. Lastly, there was a girl with striking purple hair band. It seemed that she, too, was of a similar age to him. As the imposing figure of Zhao Chongfeng strode into the hall, a hush fell over the assembled students. Towering over seven feet tall, his presence commanded instant respect, causing others to instinctively lower their heads in deference. Without uttering a word, he bypassed the queue of students, heading straight to the examiner's desk to demand his assessment. 
Initially, the students protested his blatant disregard for the queue, arguing for the principles of fairness and equality. However, their objections were quickly silenced as the examiner revealed Zhao Changfeng's status as a level 2 martial artist, eligible for a level 3 assessment. A collective gasp rippled through the room at this revelation. To achieve such a feat indicated formidable strength, placing him among the elite martial artists of his generation. In martial arts, power held sway, granting its wielders privileges and respect. As Zhao Changfeng approached the testing equipment, the tension in the room palpably heightened. The blood measuring instrument displayed a staggering value of 107.256, surpassing the threshold for a third level martial artist. His combat effectiveness index was equally awe inspiring, his punch executed with such speed and precision that it left onlookers stunned. Among the astonished crowd, Lu Sheng's eyes sparkled with intrigue, recognizing the magnitude of Zhao Chongfeng's prowess. Observing Zhao Chongfeng's punch with keen interest, Lu Sheng noted the distinct style reminiscent of a particular boxing technique. As the force gauge displayed a formidable value of 10,831, confirming his exceptional combat effectiveness, a collective gasp filled the room. Passing the assessment with flying colors, Zhao Chongfeng's status as a third-level martial artist was officially recognized by the Baihe City Martial Art Association. The announcement of his achievement garnered admiration and envy from his peers, who understood the prestige and privileges that accompanied such a rank. Offering congratulations to Zhao Chongfeng, the examiner revealed the benefits he would now enjoy, including a generous monthly martial arts allowance. The examiner's smile reflected the pride and satisfaction in welcoming a new elite member into their ranks, further amplifying the envy directed towards Zhao Chongfeng. Surveying the reactions of the other students, Zhao Chongfeng's gaze settled on Lu Sheng and the pure-looking girl with the purple headband. Unlike the others who had been humbled by the impact of his punch, the two of them remained composed, their expressions betraying a sense of curiosity and intrigue. Meeting Zhao Chongfeng's gaze, Lu Sheng regarded him with a mixture of interest and scrutiny, recognizing the significance of his achievement while contemplating its implications. With a determined resolve, Lu Sheng confidently presented his examination paper to the examiner, signaling his readiness for the first-level martial artist assessment. Lu Sheng, the first level martial artist assessment, the examiner announced, drawing the attention of everyone in the room, including Zhao Chongfeng and the girl with the purple headband. Even the examiner himself cast several curious glances in Lu Sheng's direction, acknowledging the rarity of someone his age participating in the assessment, a testament to his potential talent. Offering words of reassurance, the examiner spoke softly, encouraging Lu Sheng not to be nervous and to approach the assessment with the same confidence he would in any other situation. This unexpected display of support further bolstered Lu Sheng's determination as he prepared to demonstrate his skills and capabilities. As Lu Sheng placed his hand on the device, the bright red blood flowed gently into the groove of the blood measuring instrument. All eyes in the room were fixated on the display, some with serious intent, others more casually observing. In the blink of an eye, the value appeared on the screen, 15.701. Boom! The room erupted into chaos. More than half of the occupants jumped from their seats in astonishment. The examiner's demeanor shifted to one of utmost gentleness, seeking to reassure Lu Sheng amidst the astonishment filling the room. Don't worry, just relax, he murmured softly. You can take the combat power index test as many times as you like until you're satisfied. Taking a deep breath, Lu Sheng addressed the examiner firmly. No, just once, he declared. The examiner was taken aback by Lu Sheng's response, momentarily stunned into silence, his initial shock yet to subside. The room fell silent as Lu Sheng delivered his punch, his movement so swift that others only caught a glimpse of a gesture. Only the burly man's eyes widened in alarm, instinctively taking a step forward. Boom, the sound echoed loudly, louder than any test before it, shattering the glass behind the measuring instrument. Hearts raced as everyone awaited the results on the force measuring instrument. When the numbers finally appeared, the room was stunned into silence. The examiner struggled to articulate the digits, his expression reflecting the shock rippling through the room. Soon, he realized the magnitude of what he saw and quickly corrected himself. 15,709. He announced, his voice quivering. The realization hit like a thunderbolt. Lu Sheng's combat power exceeded 15,000, a feat unheard of in their midst. However, Lu Sheng remained unperturbed by the astonishing result. 
he had anticipated this outcome, having previously tested his abilities at the Hongchan Martial Arts Hall. The examiner, caught in a dilemma, the examiner pledged to inform the higher-ups about Lu Sheng's evaluation, recognizing the need to honor his extraordinary talent. As Lu Sheng prepared to leave, Zhao Chongfeng presented himself, offering a handshake and showed his respect to Lu Sheng and recognized his strength. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.